Good morning, boss. Good morning. Do you think we didn't get her name yet? Do you think she can make it up the mountain? There she is. Pulling the red rig. <laughs> the red rig? The red rig. Oh, we got buzzed out, man. Oh, yeah. So this is the first time up a large mountain. Look at how pretty it is today. Listen to her purring. It's dirty, though. Okay, this is the circle. I usually got a running start with the other truck. <laughs> yeah, you did have to get a running start. Oh my goodness, what did you feel like you needed a running start now? And when we would get to a certain point, it would kind of like slow down and peter out a little. It was like we were like turtles going up this mountain. Oh, sorry, it's bumpy. I should probably be using the GoPro. We'd get to this point with the other truck and it would be like, I'd be pushing the gas all the way down to the ground. And we be oh like, my goodness. Take it easy with my new baby. We're breaking it in. We went all the way down in gas miles going up on this thing. Okay, we made it. We don't have to go all the way to the top. Oh, they pine straw that whole mountain side. Oh my gosh. I guess that's a good choice of mulch for there. Okay, let's see. You think I can get down there with the new truck? Do you I guys remember this? This is... See, I smell. Like, the brakes, right? No, the, I guess... Or it's something. The, the breaking, in, breaking in of the transmission. <laughs> this is the mountain that, like, I get anxiety on. Yeah, we'd hate to fall off it with the new truck, right? Really, man. You think, you think <coughs> it built like a rock slogan would be good? <laughs> hey, at least when we're tumbling down, it'll show us our <coughs> angles and Are you kidding off road, me? right? Are you for real? So, boss, you're going to help me do like nine today, and then I'm going to drop you off, right? Yes. And you're going to, see, that's a good thing with a new vehicle. The employee gets a to go solo A second vehicle, again. yeah. The employee gets to go solo again. Oh, gosh, if it's only for a couple hours, you'll survive. <laughs> I'll survive? Are you sure? You're lucky that I don't sit in the truck all day and just do work. Hey, check out that backup camera. Doesn't help when there's a trailer on the to it. Oh my gosh. You <laughs> then you can see us going off the mountain backup that's camera. That's not funny, man. <laughs> Come it's on, really... you gotta have some sense of humor. No, that's not funny. Oh my gosh, my stomach hurts. I'm such a baby when it comes to this mountain. It would, you gotta admit, it would be a good YouTube video if we went tumbling down the Carl, mountain. Carl, oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing's got airbags. You guys, this mountain is no joke. I know that I've showed you this before. <laughs> This one it grew some it looks a little drought stressed when rain comes down the hill it doesn't settle much in there I'm gonna put some iron on it to green it up today hopefully there's no bees but this is number one for the day next time we come we have to weed eat all this over around there for them that doesn't need to take me that long so off to number two what you doing, boss? I am sending an estimate to a client. I know that we said no more. This was but referred to us from uh, a good friend, Blackwood Landscaping, Ted. Mm -hmm. um, she contacted us, and he can't get in the small back gate, and we have the 36, so we're going to hopefully get this one. Hopefully she calls us back and tells us to start mowing it. Mm -hmm. So the only thing is I'm not going to take any more houses, and it's a really nice little development but he mows in there, so yeah. if anybody asks us in there, I'm just gonna refer him to Ted, and if he doesn't want him, we'll take him then, because I'm not, he's a really good guy. I'm not yeah, to... we're not out to take work from other companies. I mean, our biggest thing, and we've told you guys this before, it can really benefit your company if you find someone in your area that you can um, be friends with. Well, we're on number two and three. Let's get these done. Because I'm sure the boss wants to go home. Yeah. And be dropped off and let me go Food solo again. Food shopping and stuff to do so. today. So that's number two. And then the boss is going to do number three over there. I'm going to give you guys a ride along on this one. And what are you guys listen to for music? Right now I'm listening to, uh, I think it's Eric Thomas for Motivation. So I really like his stuff. So let's get this started. Look guys, I'll get a view of the front, but that's everything in the light.
recording. So we're done this one. So I did this one, the boss did that one, then I helped her, you seen if the GoPro recorded. We couldn't do a little bit in the front because there's a whole yellow jacket's nest up there. So we're gonna go off to number three and four and five in their front. number nine that I'm about to do. I'm going to take you guys on a ride.
finish this one. This is the last one of the day. I'm out here by myself. The boss uh, went food shopping with the kids, so hopefully it's not shaky. This lawn was all at one point tall. What was it? Contractor's blend. I think it was, I forget what it is. It's like a bluish color. It grows really fast. Rye, rye grass. We've been overseeding it aerating it, fertilizing it, and spraying it, and it's come a long way in one year. I mean, one season, I've not even a whole season I've been doing this one from when it was just built. I remember this. I gotta see if I have things from back in the day, pictures from last year. When I first did an estimate on this yard, it was like, I didn't really want to mow it. It would grow like, probably like two feet in a week because it was rye grass. So now we got it under control and we'll keep fertilizing it and aerating it. And next week I'm gonna go diagonal with the stripes. But guys, that was our day for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, be happy, or at least try.